Uh, I'm going to talk about scoliosis today. Um, I have scoliosis. Uh, my curve is a 24 degree curve. For those of you who don't know, scoliosis is where your spine curves like an S from side to side. And uh, a, you know, a curve which is above 40 degrees would need uh, operating on. As I said, mine is 24. So mine is still considered moderate and significant. I found out I had this uh, a couple of years ago when, um, well no, it was actually more than that, it was quite a few years ago. Um, and people would tell me at bodybuilding shows that, uh, you know, my, my back is uneven. And I kind of always knew this since I was like 15 and my lats look really uneven. Uh, anyway, I was diagnosed with scoliosis and uh, a couple of years after I was diagnosed, my back pain started to get quite bad. Um, I have pain in my left mid thoracic area and uh, yeah, it, you know, over, over the past couple of, you know, I would say from 2008, late 2008 till, uh, you know, mid middle of last year really 2013 it was pretty bad and it to the point where it kind of took over my life and I you know I was struggling standing up and sitting down even in most cases to the point where training clients became a chore and I would turn down social occasions just because my back was that bad um, so what I'm trying to get through here is it's not you know a sob story on my part it's not a victim type thing it's more uh, this does affect people's lives quite badly and people can have to be operated on uh, to correct the curve if you're above 40 degrees because you know it can impair lung function and stuff like that if it's really bad and um, yeah I just wanted to basically make this video uh, because I've somewhat overcome quite a lot of pain and um, I, I kind of live my life uh, quite freely now in terms of in terms of pain I mean if I had to stand up all day I would be I would be fucked but uh, you know, I, I have learned to abate it somewhat. So, the first tip I have for you is um, to use a rolled up towel, which I fucking left up there. Uh, and this seems like the most simple thing in the world, but when you're driving, or when you're on the bus, or when you're at work, or when you're at college, school, whatever, this makes a huge difference. So, you would put it in the small of your back right here, okay? And that for me really relieves the pain uh, when I'm driving. Say if I, if I drive in total two hours a day, back and forth from clients and work and whatnot, it saves my back for those two hours. So my pain is significantly reduced. Um, sometimes, obviously, you won't have your rolled up towel with you because you might forget it. What I find, say if I've gone to the cinema or something, and I have a two litre water bottle with me, I just kind of put that there instead. Trust me, this is... This is the one in terms of my thoracic pain, which has, um, which has really uh, kind of quelled it um, quite a lot. Uh, and this is probably the main, I, I would definitely attribute this the most to my, my reduction in pain. Uh, what I find on really long journeys is that my thoracic pain kind of travels down to my lower back when I've got this in. So I alternate having it in and having it off, having it in, having it off. And I can, you know, I've recently found that I could do like a three hour journey all in one without any pain at all. Okay, tip number two would be to weight train. I know there are probably some of you who are uh, watching this who don't weight train. And I think it's, it's really important, one in terms of making sure that you, you stay as straight as possible. Because when you're doing all your exercises, you know you're gonna you're gonna be looking to make sure the bars even, the dumbbells are even, that your your shoulders are level in the mirror. And I think it's a really good way of doing that, and to obviously to activate all the muscles around your spine and your postural muscles, and make sure that your body's used to being in the right posture, so that your curve doesn't progress, or and also to prevent injury as well. You know, and anyone who tells you to steer away from weight training is I wouldn't say an idiot, but I think they're overcautious. Uh, tip number three would be to do cardio. Uh, this one sounds really, uh, you're probably thinking, where am I going with this? 
Well, I found that when I'm doing cardio, what it does is it activates the muscles uh, that run up my back and it makes them adapt for endurance. You know, just I'm talking regular walking cardio, that's all you need to do, with, you know, just a stroll pace. I walk my dog, um, I mean, he gets walked every day anyway, um, but I, I tend to take him out on a 25 minute walk five times a week and then I give him like a short one the other days. And what, what that tends to do is it just it keeps my back so much looser and my chiropractor noted that um, my posture was better when I did that. Foam roller. Okay, so here's a foam roller, and this is this is basically a way of giving yourself, uh, you know, a massage, if you will, on the on the affected muscle. So what I tend to do, if you follow me up here, yeah, what I tend to do is, I mean, not all of you will have access to a bench press, but the fact that I've told you to weight train, and if you take that tip on board, you will end up having access. I use the bench press as a prop to get kind of deeper with the, the whole massaging thing. So I would angle myself so that I'm further on the side that's more painful so all the pressure is on that muscle and I kind of grab the bar and just kind of roll myself up and down. I feel I have much better leverage here than if I were to do it on the floor and you just spend a little more time on the tighter areas. And that's a good kind of way to temporarily loosen yourself off. It's also good to do this with uh, a golf ball um, or with, uh, I use like a, it's like a, a ball that you would give your pet that's really hard. Kind of, it's similar to a cricket ball um, that you can buy at pet stores. Bone roll in a way of giving yourself, um, you know, a deep tissue massage, but I also see a, a deep tissue massage therapist who really irons all the areas of my back out and uh, I also see a chiropractor so if you find a, a good one of both of those um, that's highly recommended if you have scoliosis and my last thing is uh, your, your mental approach I found that when my pain was really bad I focused on it so much and focused on the fact that I wanted to, to get better that it was constantly in my mind and through that time I was trying to force things I was I was frustrated with the fact that my clients weren't picking up, that I had no money. Sorry, well, I still have no money. But um, I, I was just frustrated with everything. I was trying to force it. And I found that if I, if I just kind of carried on doing the thing that I love to do, which is obviously bodybuilding, and now it's kind of transitioned into powerlifting. And I know when you do have the pain, no one will understand, but it's hard not to focus on it. I don't know, I just kind of like try to chill out with the whole thing and avoid stressful situations and kind of let let things go as they're meant to go, you know, don't don't try to force things and I noticed that when I reduce my stress, my pain also calmed down a lot. So that, that's one thing, avoid stressful situations, stressful jobs, relationships, um, you know, there are certain types of stress which are good for you, which will make you grow, but if there's something in your life which is really making making you worse and will never make you better then maybe it's time to step away from that and that concludes uh, my scoliosis tips video uh, I hope you found this one interesting and in my mind I think that I've been less boring than I am on other videos uh, just because it's something which I you know I could I could talk about this all day because you know it's something that I've experienced uh, if any of you want to get in touch with me about this um, you know don't hesitate, I found it really kind of cathartic and uh, you know helpful to watch other people's blogs about this when my pain was, was at its worst. Uh, so it'd be interesting to hear other people's stories because I know it can, it can be a tough ride and people have it a lot tougher than me with this. You know, people are out there with 70 degree curves, which is bordering on a deformity. So uh, yeah, thank you.